plants don't ask for a whole lot. They just want a little sunshine, maybe some water, and a way to spread their genes around. And most plants have figured out how to fill that final need in the same way, with colorful flowers that attract pollinators. But Marcravia evenia does things a little differently, because its favorite pollinator is a bat. And though bats do rely on vision in certain situations, they don't use it much while foraging at night. So M. evenia has found another way to attract them, by reflecting sound. M. evenia is a flowering vine that's endemic to Cuba, and it's mainly pollinated by nectar-feeding bats, which works great if those bats can find the plant. So this vine evolved a pretty clever adaptation. It has disc-shaped leaves that act like satellite dishes, similar to what you might use to get a TV signal. Bats can find these plants in the dark using echolocation, where they make a sound to distinguish or find something with its echo that bounces back to them. Bats produce echolocation sounds with their voice boxes, or in some species by clicking their tongues. When these sounds bounce off of things, like the disc-shaped leaves, it changes the frequency of the sound. And the bats can detect this slight change in sound with specialized receptor cells in their ears. And these tiny changes are vital for the bat. With them, bats can tell how fast things are moving, which way they're going, and ultimately where to find food. So bats can use echolocation to find M. evenia a lot faster than they can to find other plants. Because when bats send out a sound, the leaves return echoes that are very distinct to that plant. And because of their form, the sound can be amplified in a bunch of different directions. The leaf's center and edge both reflect sound differently, but in a way that overlaps. When sound is reflected off leaves that are more flat, they produce a bunch more background noise compared to the Amavenia leaves. Researchers were curious about how effective these vine leaves were, so they trained some bats to drink from feeders in a lab setting. Then they presented the bats with three different scenarios. In one, the feeder was on its own. In the next, it was surrounded by some typical looking leaves. And in the last one, the feeder was surrounded by artificial leaves shaped like the leaves from M. evenia. Researchers found that the bats could find the feeder twice as fast when hidden in the artificial M. evenia leaves, but it does come with a small price. Flat leaves are usually much more efficient at absorbing sunlight because of all of the exposed area. Disc-shaped leaves, on the other hand, aren't as good at photosynthesis because their curved shape doesn't leave as much surface exposed to the sunlight. This seems like a problem for the plant because they produce fewer nutrients than when they had a flat leaf, but it might actually be a pretty fair trade. Because these plants are so scarce, they need efficient pollinators. And bats also need a lot of food to keep up with all that flying around. So researchers hypothesized that these plants evolve these leaves over flashy flowers to have less competition when it comes to pollinators. Which is a great example of how everything in nature has its trade-offs. But some things are just worth a little sacrifice. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow. We have made thousands of educational videos over the years, and we've been able to offer them for free because of our patrons on Patreon. It's the end of the year, I've just been going over our budgets here complexly, and I know this to be a true fact. So to all of our patrons, thank you for what you do to make SciShow happen. If you're not a patron and you want to learn more about what that means, you can go to patreon.com slash scishow.